We got some fancy custom swim baits. We've got uh, a way to carry your swim baits without damaging them. And we've got a box sent in by a subscriber. We got a lot of stuff to break down. I would say today. the subscriber. The subscriber. He is the hype man. <laughs> so we're going to get into that. If you guys like unboxings, you're looking for some new fish and tackle for next year, then definitely subscribe, smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell, and then come back Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live. We talk and chat. The hype man's always there. So Hyping. not him. The, the, the I'm pointing. The hype man the be hyping. The hype man be hyping. South is that way, so he's down that way. Yeah, exactly. See, I did it right. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this box. I'm really excited to see what's in it. I looked at the note, the full disclosure, I peaked. I wanted to know what Paul was getting and what I was getting and made sure it was better, and then I rewrote it. In, other, sure in other words, it's a hand-typed of... note <laughs> that says, Jeff, you can have everything except for this, like, dime I found at the bottom of the box. You're welcome. So, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's open this box. <laughs> Okay, first of all, that's for you. Paul was Allegedly. So we, we did a Slick Bait unboxing. If you guys don't know Slick Bait Co., it's an awesome uh, custom and unique fishing tackle company. And they make cool stuff. And not and they only- They also have nice apparel and a really cool logo. Well, they actually, they make a whole lot of apparel. So one of their sort of yeah. like things that they do that makes them unique is they actually make a whole bunch of different lines of apparel. So they do like yep. the long sleeve shirts, the hats, and like they have like a lot of women's apparel, which I think is really cool. Yep. And it's not just like pink. They make like a really like, I think thoughtful line of product. Right. Um, and they do it. This is the Richardson 112. This is one of the better, I'd say one of the better hats out there. That's the type like, of hat that you, you can want. go get. I think this one's solid, so. We did an unboxing of theirs a while back and I got a hat. Because I took it. <laughs> they sent us one hat. And I didn't because uh, I didn't. Other than that, really cool thing that Slick Bait Co. does is they do auctions every single week. Yeah. All the proceeds that they, they make from these auctions actually go towards uh, different organizations supporting autism awareness, which is really cool and something that we really believe in. And we've had awesome uh, people on the show, like Don from Autism Anglers. They also work with Cats for Kids, who has been on our podcast. So just amazing all around organizations. And they get a ton of engagement. They're doing it weekly and they're making custom baits uh, for people and then auctioning off. It's fantastic. All right, here's a note. I don't have glasses, you can read it. So, the Burley Hype Man opens his letter with, yo, Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Cause he loves those 90s roasts. Who doesn't? So good. Who doesn't? Uh, please find some awesomeness in the box. Got some new profiles and colors. He writes too swell. Like, you know that type of writing? You're just like, I kind of can interpret some of these letters and also that it's very neat. I think, you know what <laughs> like, I think it is? People do not read handwritten notes often enough to be comfortable reading or other read. people's handwriting. <laughs> or if it's 2022, they still yeah. read. All right, new, uh, so new profiles and colors from Slick Baits, uh, as well as some NCB stuff and more. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna find out. Uh, for Jeff, I commissioned a piece for you that hopefully was okay. Yes. Yes, it's okay. Absolutely. Uh, this lure is a Goliath Gill from Samson Lures. What? Goliath Gill. Oh my gosh. Uh, so they're out of, what's that? Middle Tennessee. Don't worry, I can read. I've read before once, probably twice, maybe three times. <laughs> Uh, it was what I believe means a lot to you, family fishing and autism. Yes, dude, I freaking love it. So another... Dude. This, this first of all, Debrilli Hype Man connects us with yeah. every single organization that we've found throughout the years. Mm -hmm. So we haven't found them. He's found them. Uh, and he puts us in touch like Slick, like Cast for Kids, Good Autism dude. Anglers, I think he yeah. even started. And then uh, Samson Lures. Freaking cool, dude. Um, I did cop a photo of your beautiful girls for it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you telling me that it... Get on with okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening right now? Okay. Uh, well, I believe only the younger has autism. I know the entire family is a team and I didn't want the other to feel left out. Uh, I highly recommend checking out the company. I feel like I'm gonna like potentially cry when I open this bait. Is that what's gonna happen? You're a sobber. Oh man. <laughs> Paul, you now have your own hat and shirt from Slick. Look I, at that. I will say as far as the shirt goes, I'm very flattered you thought that I would be an XL. <laughs> Jacked. I mean, Jacked. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know how much you like the uh, standard JB crawl. Here's daddy. Let's go! <laughs> so there's a big crawl. Let's go. Oh my gosh. All right. And then uh, thanks for having me as a part of the crew. Merry early Christmas, the OG hype man, Stephen Scott. Thank you so much, Stephen. So now we get to open. 
Whew. We're not going to start here. I feel like this was. We're going to start here, and then we've got a bunch of other customs. The box within the box. So here's the box within the box. Bye. And here's um. the bait. I don't know what to do. Yo, are you freaking kidding me? What? Oh! What? Shut up. Oh no. Dude, shut, shut up. What? You guys, I'm sorry, I'm staring at this by myself. Look. Oh, the, oh dude, it zoomed in so well. No Look at that, those are my way. girls. And this is a, a puzzle piece. Well, the Jeez. puzzle piece is uh, representative of um, what a lot of people to be considered sort of the banner yeah. for uh, uh, autism. Which and, I understand yeah. people in comments are going to be like, it's an infinity symbol now. I totally get it. Just hang with me on this. Yep. Um, this is freaking cool. Gosh dang. Are you joking me right now? Look at those different colorways on this too. But that How right there. That? And that's on both sides, by the way. Uh, is that, it's got to be wow. dipped. I guess. I don't know. How do they do that? Like, is it... There's like a little square outline on the image. It's got to be dipped. Or like, oh, maybe it's glued on somehow? I don't know, dude. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like this. I, that's never going to hit water. There's no way. No, this is, not, this is not fishing. Although, it's a really cool looking bait. It is bait. a sweet looking bait. <laughs> like, I'd love to talk to this bait quite a bit more. I love the but fact I'm, that it has a bill. Like, yeah, I, that, that makes me want to fish it ten times more. Dude, it's pretty hefty, too. It's and like three ounces. It ain't, it ain't tiny. It's got to be four ounces, right? Uh, three and a quarter. <laughs> wow, dude, I'm really impressed slash blown away by this. Uh, such a cool custom piece. It's immediately going up. I actually have uh, the shelf behind me in the podcast office. That's where this is going because it's where I work all day, and I'd love to see this throughout the day. So thank you so much, dude. That's freaking sick. Gosh dang it. How thoughtful. I'm going to go weep in a corner. <laughs> you, no, you, I'll finish you the video. <laughs> Look at this, dude. <laughs> We got some sevens and eights in here. This part. All right, so we got three different worms coming up. One of them is in this big old bag. Call. Yeah, an eight-inch trick worm, which actually I've actually been wanting to get a hold of some like larger worms because yeah. I just don't really have any of them, and it's one of those things that's on my list of like get more confidence in. So yeah. fits in right in with the podcast. So I think in the do. spring. This one is going to be out for sure. So eight inch trick worm uh, came in two colors, scupper nong. <laughs> I butchered it, I don't care. Nailed it. And that one's like this PBJ. So really cool looking color uh, and, and there's no bad time for it. And then you get earthworm, which is sort of that natural brown, freaking sick. Then you get a seven inch curly tail. Now I have some of these mm -hmm. and I really like them. Uh, one of the reasons I like them is they're really light. And when you actually just put like an eighth of an ounce and you Texas rig these with a light wire hook, oh, yeah. these things are actually freaking yeah. deadly because they take forever to fall. And yeah. then you can take advantage of that curly tail. It's like a really cool way to fish yeah. it. And the only way that I haven't fished it that I want to is actually on a free rig. So I want to I want to I want to free rig this one real bad. I feel like that's It'll gonna work. be juicy. So very cool. We've seen some of these plastics before, so we're gonna kind of like but not speed some through. of these colors. But there's some new colors, right? So I want to kind of like cruise through these. Next up, we've got the Sniper Fluke in Blue Moon. Now, this color I've gotten before, and I'm actually a pretty gosh dang big fan. Look at that. A little split colorway here. We've got that, like, green pumpkin, almost like a motor oil up top with black flake and that sharp blue. Yeah. Love it. It's also a uh, single tail fluke. Look at that, just a little streamer line. I Which, love, dude. Super finesse, so yes. good. And right along that super finesse, is, this color is probably the coolest color I've seen from them in a it's while, awesome. actually. This color, this is not really gonna do it justice, but there's like no opaqueness to this at all. It's like, or no clarity. It's a completely uh, filled in, really nice color. Cool color green. Uh, this is the, I think the Slick Nasty is the fluke that this one is. Um, really cool take on a fluke. It's basically like a jointed fluke. Yeah. Um, so really extreme, and then this is tiny. This is probably three inches. Um, and sour apple. Yeah, dude. What? And actually, that color that is the most descriptive. That is a sour apple. It's freaking perfect. I love that. All right, then we got another sniper fluke again. That finesse tail with these guys. This color is question mark. We have no idea. It's, he wrote it down as question mark, <laughs> but it's really cool. It's got like the uh, oh yeah the long style flash to it. Three different kinds of material in here. All sorts of different flash going on. Really like that color. Very natural looking too. 
Okay, one more worm now. This is the hustle worm, and you can see that it's got that curly, that, that specific type of curly tail. And actually, it looks like they, they got the name Slick Baco. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. Slick Baco is actually written on the tail, which is kind of like a cutter worm. Oh, nice. So it's yeah. kind of like a cutter worm, but it's, it's downsized. Uh, and then, what is this red? I forget the color already. Red Shad is what I said. Um, really cool though, red belly, and then it's like, it's basically, it's black on top. Uh, this will be a killer dark water bait. Like, holy cow. And so will this. So this is the Cha Melon. Uh, same worm bait. You say that little cutter tail there, right? So speed worm, whatever you want to call it. Man, but this is the, the Cha Melon is that color changing bait, right? So the color changes in the light and it's freaking cool. What? Hulk smash? Paul has found the Hulk smashes that I peaked. <laughs> oh my this god! This color is super juicy. So we're still with that hustle worm. Yep. This color is called Hulk smash. Very purple, very, very detailed glitter. But look what's on the bottom. Ah! What? Yo. I'm, I will fight you for this. Yeah. No problem. There's no, we're, there's no, we're gonna have to, this will be the only bag we probably ever split. No, you can, you can like, have it. You oh know why? No. What did I miss? Cause I'm gonna take this. No! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Look at this. So this also comes in the Hulk smash. Just violently chartreuse. Oh my God, that's sick. <laughs> Look, so this is like a One of my favorite baits that they make. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is, it's, The JB Craw. What's it called? The mag. That's the Magnum JB Craw. I have the JB oh. Craw, which is one of my favorites. That's the yeah. Magnum. Dude, that is sick. Look at the tail coming off what? Of this. So <laughs> yeah, this just awesome creature bait all around. Got to move a ton in the water, and uh, hopefully, <sighs> hopefully, maybe even today we should take this out. Can you showed it. Did you show him the Chaw Melon already? Not that one. So we got two of these. So I'm actually okay with this. So the Different Magnum color. also comes in the Chaw Melon, which we were just Oop. going through earlier. Same bait, Chaw Melon. That dude, that's freaking cool. Right? I love the Magnum version of this one. I love this. And then here's the JB Crawls that you were talking about. Oh, yes. So this is the, what, the non Magnums? It's not much smaller, but it's no, a no, little bit it's smaller. Small, it's a lot smaller. The appendages are a lot smaller. And this color is called Ghost. The appendages are dude. smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So now we have actual baits, right? Oh, actual. These aren't actual. Sorry. We're going to hard Shut up. Baits. Hold on. Now we have hard. Baits. Just, I'm not going to show you. So I just want you to listen. There's no way that's it's a not maraca. <laughs> you got it. You're making music. That is cool. the loudest. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is a lipless, a really tall, uh, thin but tall-bodied lipless in a really cool red color with like. Green pumpkin on top and purple in the middle. I wanna make sure it's coming in. There is green pumpkin on top. But this is the loudest, hands down. There's, yeah. I will say there's pro, it sounds like there's more room in the rattle chambers than in any other bait that I've ever gotten a hold of. It's pretty insane. I also wanna make a really interesting distinction is there's some pretty small hooks on here. Like compared to a lot of lipless, that's probably half the size. Yeah. Probably two sizes smaller. That's probably gonna catch a fish today. So I'll be interested to see how that one goes. All right, so next up we got uh, these NCB Lure Company lures. And <laughs> I wanna see more about them. So we got a jig and a spinnerbait, right? So this is the hybrid spinnerbait. We got a black and blue, and then the other color here is called Summer Shad. What? Three eighths of an ounce. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So you got your, your skirt, which is, it's super hand tied. Look at this. So the reason this is all hand tied that much is because you got bucktail hair coming off the back. Gosh dang. And this one has a black blade on it too. Yep. It's so sick. So one thing I like about, so I've tied up a couple of these myself. Nice. Um, and I, use, I have used a couple of these materials. There's a couple of reasons bucktail is a lot better than some other materials. Bucktail does yeah. not tend to get as wrapped up on itself. Uh, and around the hook. It tends to stay really straight yeah. when it gets wet, um, which is a huge so upgrade good. from something like Crafter, where if you get too much on it, it really just wraps up around itself and doesn't look as good. Uh, which one do you want? I don't have any black and blues. All right, I have plenty. I'll take the uh, I'll take the white. I don't know, man, I cannot, I wanna see what this looks like underwater. We're gonna fish it today. I can That's promise cool. you that. Gold and white. How many gold and whites you got? I think 0.0. .0. Yeah. 
Uh, the other thing about like the bucktail is it's really good this time of year. Like you get yeah. finessey, you start doing, we had our boy Ben Nowak on the show. He's throwing hair jigs and such, like getting finessey with it. The other thing about bucktail, and you'll see this here in just a second on this jig, uh, is that you can dye it. So here is the jig. Uh, this is a nice looking, so, ah, stand up-y kind of <laughs> jig. Um, so it, it is intended to stand up like so, uh, but it does have a pointed head to it. Uh, and then you can see right here, you get a little bit of a recessed, but still pointed tie in. And then again, like the others, it's really well tied on. You're not losing any of this. So this color is pretty cool. Purple with gold. It's called um, Purple Reaper. Oh, wow. Aggressive. Yeah. I would have gone with like the Vikings something related. This is sick though. Um, nice brush guard, stout hook. Let's Dude. get the hook in there for a second. You so do get good. yourself a nice stout hook. Very. Um, with, again, with that dyed bucktail. So that's how you're getting that vibrant purple is that bucktail dies yeah. out really nice. Yeah. So we do have that in another less violent color, which is <laughs> yeah. green pumpkin. So just green pumpkin, hint of orange oh, wow. in the skirt, like literally one strand of orange yeah. in the skirt. Uh, super heavily tied as well as the brown bucktail. Dude, so Don't cool. Hate it. Very finessey brush guard, very stout hook, kind of, uh, but stand up variation to the jig. It's kind of a big profile. The tie-in is really nice though. I like that because it's recessed, but it's yeah. not totally out of the way, so you're still going to be able to pull through cover. It's I pretty, love it. That's pretty sick. All right, so enough of those really, really cool smaller <laughs> brands. Let's look at two very large brands. Okay. So this first one is gigantic. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not oh, open it? Yeah, you it? didn't even open it. There you go. So this is a swim bait storage. Look at that. So we have room for a lot of swim baits. So look at this. That's so the biggest swim bait I own. That's a six inch draw. <laughs> and you could probably fit two of those you in there safely. You could put two in there. So one like this and then one yeah. down here, maybe flipped. So there's eight total pockets yep. in this thing, right? And then it folds in half and then you just fold it up a bunch like this. And then you just strap it close like that. So you're this, gonna end up with a sizable bundle. I mean, yeah. that's gonna be a big. Oh, it's big, gonna big, it's gonna big, big, bulk yeah. out a lot, and I'm definitely I I don't even have enough to fill this up right now. So, but that said, this is a really cool way to carry this around, mm -hmm. and then this can go into the front cargo of my boat, or it can go right behind the seat. Yes. And that way, they're kind of up and out, as well as hold, please, not knocking into each other in this. So this is what I was using. This uh, Plano 3700 deep. deep. It's the Edge series, right? So ah, start shaking so all your baits around. It like pains me. The other, the other thing that I will say, we were talking, actually Jeff and I were talking about this this morning. The other problem that I have with putting them in a box like this where they're sort of like loose in the box uh, is that um, soft tail baits, just like the one that's in here, the Trace, you can see when you put them in vertically, they're actually getting crimped right onto the soft tails. And what happens is- I'm gonna do you one worse. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, happens. So this is a perfect example. This is a Mollux glide bait. Which right? is a good, solid so glide bait. Very not nice. Cheap. $29. I'm never right on the price. You guys saw our last video with the glide baits and swim baits, and I said the draw. Whiffed. He whiffed constantly. The draw was 50 bucks. It's $75. The trace is like 20 bucks. It's $35. You were only 50% I was off. only way off. Anyways, so the Mollux is not cheap. How about that answer? And this tail is destroyed. Uh, it might it might be replaceable. I don't it's know. It's replaceable, but you have to go buy another one. So let's say you're gonna, you're gonna buy, do all the work. So it's and, bad, and you're paying for shipping. And you then don't want to do it. And then when you go to pull it out of the box to go fish it, when you want to fish it, it's not gonna fish the way that you want. That so that tail is crucial. It really That's is. That's why I mean, all the tails are replaceable and. They, they come in different materials. There's a reason behind it. So you're destroying a very important part of the action of the bait. Exactly. So you don't want to do that. For no reason except that you put it in a, you store it in a place that you probably shouldn't have. So what I am going to store in the deep boxes is this and a bunch of these. Me? You, your body parts. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't mix these with plastics that don't play nice, they're going to be fine in there. So what I want to do is I want to get into more of these like soft baits. Now, to Paul's point, I could also put them in this. And they could be on their own and be totally fine. So that's like an option too. So I'll tell you what. Them in there. <laughs> like sliding them I know. in. I like, know. It might be kind of a pain. Like, so I'll tell you what. Let's do this. 
You guys tell us in the comments below how we should store these things. This is what I'm talking about. I'm sick of trying to just figure it out on my own. Help! <laughs> Pretending like I know the answer. We're using social media as a giant send help sign. <laughs> Isn't that what it's for? Yeah, literally. Literally, help. it's, it's ask Isn't Jeeves. Isn't so bad? Like, I go onto YouTube only to get information to, like, do things that I want to do. It's so, like, if I want to yeah. do electrical, I'm like, go to YouTube. If I like, learn how to do something, go to YouTube. And now that I'm making YouTube videos, I'm like, tell me what to do. <laughs> like, from all the people not on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good use of your time. Well done. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got the Mega Bass Mag Draft here. Now, this is the pre-rigged one. I ended up going that route because I didn't want to destroy it, not knowing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, just like rip the face off trying to do a screw lock hook or just tear up the material. So instead, it's already got hooks. So we got our hook down here. Um, I thought it had one up top, I guess not. No. No, right, and, cool. So we and, got our hook down there. <laughs> and I think I'll, I would I would make the same recommendation to a yeah. lot of people just getting into something. Uh, you want to see how it today. You want to see uh, the reason I say you want to get the pre-rigged uh, if you've never fished a bait before or you, or you don't know a lot about it. You want to see how the bait was intended to be, uh, how it was intended to swim, how it was intended to work. Uh, when you start, <laughs> did I do good? <laughs> did I do? Good? Still not open, by the way. I know. <laughs> and so, Mega Bass, your packaging is so weird. Stout. So you want to see how that bait was intended to swim uh, before you try rigging it yourself. Because what, what might happen is you might spend a bunch of money on a bait, you rig it yourself incorrectly, and then it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to, uh, versus now I can see how it's supposed yeah. to work, and then I can mess with it after the fact. So, I don't know. I guess I've never watched anything about the mag draft. I didn't realize that was a magnet. <laughs> that, Did you know that? That can't, that can't be. That's got to be new. That's, that's a magnet. So I have a seen magnet and that holds the hook. So why is that there? It's you can really also important. bury it. I've seen a lot. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people talk about burying the hook like so. So you take one of the trebles, you bury it like so, and then your your uh, your mag draft is fished actually in this manner. But if you had a magnet yeah. inside the bait, uh, it can sit right where it's supposed to, and then it's got the 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 hook actually coming out where it's supposed to instead of having two at the bottom. There's like option one wide open, option two grass. So like if you have it one, is. one hook, wide open, pull through, yeah, wide grass open a little one. easier. And then if you rotate this like so, and then you just bury that hook, then you're gonna have two hooks sticking out. That's better for a wide open situation. Yep. So it's late season. Dude, it even has like the- I was gonna say, so, it's so cool. if you look really closely, you can see these two sort of indentations in the plastic. Well, they match up perfectly so for when you want, you can like, it's like a recessed place for, you, for your hook to get even closer to the body to hide those hook points a little bit more. Um, overall, I will say this is a right, perfect balance of stretch, yeah. which is going to give you some durability and hopefully make this thing survive a little longer. Because that's always been my qualm with pre-rigged plastics. As much as I like pre-rigged plastics, they do tend to get pretty expensive. So when you look at yeah. like some of them that are out there, I don't want to mention any names. One's coming. The Baca Burrito is coming. And we're going to... See, but they're very, they're very, it's they, very expensive. Get, I want to see how it holds up. They get very expensive, and what happens is, like, let's say this tail gets bit off, it's it's irreplaceable. You, yep. you cannot salvage the bait. There's nothing that can be done. That bait is ruined. Mm -hmm. Period. You can't even rig another plastic around the hook because the way the hooks are shaped, yep. they're shaped specifically for a specific type of plastic. There's nothing you can do, and so. Um, I, we're gonna find out. It's always been a problem. The, the flip side of it is, is a lot of people have a lot of faith in this, and I'm, yeah. I'm certainly willing to give it a try, but what a freaking awesome looking so bait. Cool. And perch, great choice. We've I, had a, I am catching a pike on this. Today. We've had a lot of success in some of our local lakes on perch uh, patterns. Mm -hmm. Like you just can't, you can't beat it. But I mean, look at this. This is That's catching a pike really today. nice. I will tell you how durable this is when I rip a pike's face off of this. All right. Wow, that was a lot of neat stuff. Um, Anything else? <laughs> Most importantly, I want to shout out to my boy, DeBurley Hype Man. Our boy, DeBurley Hype Man. Uh, a, a gentleman and a scholar. I really appreciate this gift. This is phenomenal. One of the coolest things that I've gotten on this show. And yeah, I'm going to go hang it up in the office. So it'll be behind me every single podcast forever and ever. No, I'm not fishing this. You can't make me. <laughs> and uh, and also thanks for hooking us up with a lot of knowledge and information about baits and brands yeah. that we haven't seen before, including Slip Gaco and some others. Uh, and, and people think, who help out in the exactly. autism community, like it's so amazing that we're able to find all of this through fishing. You know, it's just something that we're passionate about that we really care about. Fishing is awesome. We want to get people in the great outdoors, and it just so happens there's such a good, positive like autism community 
found in the fishing industry. It's so crazy. Yeah. I, I love it. So you guys are awesome. Um, and then a few other cool things that I bought that aren't as nifty as what DeBurley sent. So, But still fun. <laughs> but also fun. And I'm going to go catch a pike on that mag draft right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash the like on this video. Ring that notification bell. And then subscribe, of course. Come back Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Where we go live. <laughs> Every single week, we have uh, awesome guests in the fishing industry. And on our new podcast, The Aggressively Average Angler, we have a ton, of ton, a ton of fun exploring new concepts together. Yeah, like mag drafts. 100% like mag drafts. And, and giant swim baits and stuff. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later!